I've been living in Valencia for 15 years now and I know the place quite well. I fell in love with the people, its culture, its gastronomy, its streets, the wine, its nature. Today we're having a party. For many of the people here, it's not the first time they've come along, because it's such a fun day. We do this once or twice a year. We harvest some grapes, we stomp them with our feet, as was done in the past. Then we visit the winery, we try their wines, and then have a nice lunch with even more wine. Fortunately, we do not have to drink the wine of the grapes we stomped with our feet, because here, there are people who do their job very well. Making wine is their way of life, and they take it very seriously. That's why Valencian wine is so good. We mainly do private wine tours, but we also do wine tastings in the city. I know the Valencian grapes very well by now, and I mainly use wines made from the indigenous grapes. People are often surprised at how good the Valencian wines are. I like talking about wine, but it makes me especially happy to see people having a good time with a glass of Valencian wine in their hand. If you would be surprised by the Valencian wines, the city would surprise you even more. Valencia is a mixture of tradition and modernity. It has Europe's largest historical centre. Narrow streets where you can get lost and imagine travelling to the past. It has a river that is now a bigger park than Central Park in New York. And it has a city within the other. That's of the city of arts and sciences, with futuristic buildings that you fall in love with. That's not all. Valencia is located by the sea but it also has a huge lake, the Albufera Lake, a place you will never forget, where rice is grown and fishing is done the same way as 800 years ago. Can you imagine how good the paella is over there? For more than 10 years I've been showing this beautiful city to its visitors. Do you want me to show it to you too?